playing for a person of Hindu religion and she um, I was playing each day for about three days that she was dying and then after she died they called me back and they said well it's going to be several days before um, the body is is ready to move on so I kept going and playing for the person after they died Well, my mom was called the Golden Harp Singer and Daughters. We had a trio and we toured the Midwest. I think I started my first gig when I was 10, when I was, she started this little group and my sister was just born. And um, I always remember the guy that gave me a $10 tip after that event when I was 10. I thought, hmm, this could be good. <laughs> We kept doing it all through high school, and then I got a scholarship to a prominent music school. I've played with the symphony for about 10 years. how it feels to be present with somebody because music is a living um, being of its own and um, but yet it's not something you see um, just like a person's spirit who knows they, you know it could be moving around our sphere even as we go through our daily lives when someone dies we don't really know but again, the music kind of helps comfort and, um, and because it's just as ethereal and mysterious as uh, the dying spirit, it kind of seems like it should mingle together somehow. <laughs> helped a lot of adults that I've been teaching to hold on to, to life in a positive manner because they'll come in and they say they're depressed or you know they've had a stressful week and then they'll play the harp and they'll feel better because the sound and the feel and the movements all these things that you have to do to play um, all feed into the body in a very positive way and you feel very graceful and flowing as you're doing it. <laughs> something I've been struggling with for years is how to define spirit and sacred and all that. Um, but again, I think it's creating this space that is not interrupted by mundane thoughts and actions and words. Uh, there's just a feeling of 
timelessness and again with the music um, it's kind of a, almost like a thread that is connecting from this life to the next and it's hard to do that without music I think.